Hi and welcome to another Majestic.cloud video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up SFTP access for an S3 bucket. We will do this with AWS Transfer for SFTP. So what is AWS Transfer? It's a fully managed service offered by AWS that allows us to transfer files in and out of an S3 bucket as if it was a regular SFTP server. Because it integrates with Route 53 DNS, we will even set up a custom domain name for this SFTP server and use that one instead of the default uh, hostname provided. Another cool feature is that uh, we can integrate custom identity providers and uh, this allows you to set up a different authentication mechanism and use that instead of the default one. So what are the use cases uh, for such a service? Um, use cases uh, revolve around um, uh, existing um, legacy applications that need access to an SFTP server for reading data or uh, outputting data to an SFTP server. So if we have such a legacy system, uh, we can uh, set up um, uh, this SFTP endpoint on our S3 bucket and uh, provide this bucket as a data store for that legacy application. So, what about the pricing? The pricing for uh, AWS transfer for SFTP uh, is uh, per hour. You pay 30 cents per hour for every hour that your endpoint is provisioned and you also pay four cents for every gigabyte of data transferred uh, either uploaded or downloaded no, it doesn't matter you pay four cents and that's it um, you also pay uh, for your uh, s3 uh, for your regular s3 bucket um, you pay the storage space and you also pay for operations puts gets and stuff like that so let's not waste any more time and let me show you how you can set up uh, AWS transfer uh, for SFTP on your S3 bucket. First of all, we need to create the S3 bucket. So let's go to S3 and create a bucket. I will name this bucket Majestic SFTP. Okay, let's create it. And that's it for all let's go to IAM where we will create an IAM role um, for um, the SFTP endpoint um, but before creating the role we need to create a policy and uh, in this case let's create a policy for S3 for the bucket we just created we need to provide list bucket access and um, list bucket get bucket location um, we will provide our bucket name majestic sftp add okay so this is these are the buck, bucket permissions and we need to add uh, additional permissions for the files so we choose S3 here again and provide um, read access so the get object get object permission and uh, then we go to write permissions and we will provide delete bucket the uh, delete object sorry delete object and delete object version and also put object okay and here we also need on the reads uh, get object version okay so these are the five permissions we need for the s3 files and here we need to uh, specify the bucket name again majestic sftp and uh, for object name we will choose any so let's add this so 
uh, this is our um, uh, policy and we will review it and save it as sftp majestic this will be the policy name let's create the policy and then we need to create the role so let's create a role here we need uh, to choose the first option aws service and here um, the service that will use this role will be transfer so we need to choose transfer here and then go to the permissions and let's search for the policy we just created uh, previously and we will add this policy next click on tax uh, we don't add any tax review and sftp we, we will uh, give the name for this role sftp access for majestic s3 bucket okay let's create the role okay so we created it this is it down then we go to this role and check here in the trust relationships uh, we need to have this trust relationship with transfer amazon aws.com so let's update trust policy and this is it um, we have our role set up so now let's go to uh, sftp aws transfer for sftp we will open this in a new uh, tab and for some reason it doesn't want to load it's okay now it loads uh, let's click on create server this will be our new sftp server the endpoint type will be public uh, we will use a um, custom uh, domain name in this case for our service we'll, it will be uh, route 53 dnsl alias um, let's give our sftp server the name sftp playground majestic.cloud okay um, aws transfer will create the dns uh, records for us automatically the identity provider will uh, leave the default one for this uh, example and we click on create server okay while our server is creating we will go and uh, set up our user <coughs> uh, but first let's check if the dns record is properly created so if we click on this one we can see that um, AWS already created us the CNAME record in uh, the DNS console um, and uh, it should be okay uh, let's go back and uh, proceed with creating uh, our user click on server ID and then here we have the option to add a user so let's add the user uh, the username will be majestic uh, here we need to choose the iam role that we created previously so this one sftp access for majestic s3 bucket and uh, here in, at the home directory uh, we need to choose the s3 bucket we have uh, uh, created for this purpose and uh, for which we created the policy the access policy now here we need to specify a public key for our user because our user will be using a, a private key to connect to the uh, sftp server so if you don't know how to create uh, the key you can click on the info uh, link here and uh, here you have also a link which you can open and then here in generating SSH, key, SSH keys uh, you have the command that you will need to run in your terminal so let's do that uh, let's create um, a transfer key um, I've changed the name so it will be SSH Cajun 
and uh, the name will be transfer key so it it create uh, the keys if i do a list uh, we will see here the transfer key and the transfer key pub uh, let's list the transfer key pub public key um, is this one we need to copy it until here and let's paste it in here so this is the public key okay let's add our user our user is now added and uh, we need to configure our um, sftp client locally so the with an ss uh, sftp client you connect to the sftp server in my case this will be win scp this is a um, FTP client I use often and uh, it has support for SFTP, SCP, FTP and so on um, and uh, you can download it uh, for free and uh, it's a very good uh, little utility. Let's configure our um, uh, SFTP server here. Uh, it will be SFTP playground majestic.cloud this is the host name um, for the username I've put in majestic uh, and uh, we will not give a password but instead we'll go to advanced and um, here at the authentication tab we will choose our uh, private key file um, it can't find any uh, private key because it is looking for the ppk extension i don't have the file in that uh, format uh, i will click on the transfer key file and it will automatically offer to convert it to uh, the open ssh private key to potty format so you just click on ok click here on save and it's automatically converted into a ppk uh, format mat and uh, then you click on ok and uh, let's save this connection so save so i have it for uh, future uh, connections and this should be it let's try to log in so it warns me about a potential security breach because uh, I've changed the host name. Okay, so it connected uh, to the Majestic SFTP bucket. So let's try and copy some stuff over. First we, ha first we have this taxable CSV file. Let's copy up this uh, to the S3 bucket. Upload it, in other words. Uh, so it says the upload of a file was successful but error occurred while setting the permission and or timestamp. Um, so our file was copied but uh, the utility tool could not um, set the timestamp because um, we need to modify a setting here. So we'll keep on skip. The file is copied and if I go to S3 uh, you see I'm in the SFT, Majestic SFTP uh, bucket if I do a refresh you see I have uh, the file here but in order uh, to uh, not to get those uh, annoying uh, alerts when we upload files let's go and uh, change the options we go to preferences in WinSCP and here in the transfer settings if we go to the default and edit here uh, we uncheck the preserve timestamp uh, option and click on ok and if we transfer any more files uh, then like this one for example uh, we will not get uh, the, the alerts so let's copy more files I will copy the transfer key PPK. So I have the shortcuts. I'm using shortcuts here now with F the, the F5 uh, uh, key on your keyboard. You can copy a file up. So uh, this is it. Uh, we go back to uh, the S3 bucket and, and we click on it and 
I mean, click on the uh, refresh button and you can see that I have all the files that uh, I've uploaded with uh, the SCP tool. Uh, now let's go back and uh, delete uh, all these files. I've selected them all and uh, I can uh, click on the delete uh, icon here or just push F8 and let's delete them it deleted them all for this is deleted from the s3 bucket itself if i go back to s3 and click on the refresh the bucket is empty so this is how it works um, now we will uh, also uh, stop our server because if we um, leave it running um, then we will incur 30 cents per hour uh, so let's delete the server click on delete you need to confirm it okay so now it's deleted so this is how you can set up an sftp server on top of your s3 bucket and this is the how you can use it easily so i hope you liked uh, this video um, if you did click on the like uh, button and also if you want to get uh, updates when I uh, release new videos on uh, topics like cloud computing or AWS click on the subscribe button uh, to stay updated thank you for your attention and have a great day